Welcome to Midweek Service provided by the Church Sound Podcast. This is our version of Tech News with your host, Prentice Thompson. Have you ever wondered, how do I mic a drum set or what about getting audio to my live stream? We're here for you. This is Tech News, new product reviews, and everything you need to know about what you need to know. Welcome to Midweek Service. Welcome to the Church Sound Podcast Midweek Service. I am and what we do right here on midweek service is product reviews product training product application everything you know everything you need to know about what you need to know so before we start make sure you subscribe share review and do all those things that that's important for us to keep this um product moving along and so if you tuned in last week, you listened last week, you know that we covered. Oh, I know you probably looked around and said, Oh, those are watching. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm trying something new today with the setup. So, um, hope you like it. If you, if you like the new setup, just leave comments and um, let me know. And we can, we can keep it doing like this. Anyway, so last week we spoke about what do musicians want from engineers. And today we're going to flip the coin and we're going to talk about what engineers want from musicians. Now, communication is, is a key component to um, understanding and being understood. So <clears throat> what we would like for musicians is try to try to understand the language or help us help you understand the language. What I mean by that is this. We don't need you to know the technical terms. This is two hertz or 2.5 kilohertz or whatever. You know, we're rolling off at 60 and we don't need you to know that, like, all that. What we need for you is to help us help you by helping us understand you by letting us teach you the language. I'll give you a great example. I was mixing at a church and the lead singer kept t- kept saying to me, can you give me more delay? I need more delay. In my- I need more delay. I need more delay. And I was like, well, she wants more delay. I got, you know, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the mix. I'm like, man. So I said, okay. And gave her more. And she immediately put me on blast. You know, you know, the, you know, the, do you understand what delay is? You know, are, are you a professional? And I was like, yes. And I could have blew her up right there. Cause I think what she really meant was reverb. So I said, well, can I speak to you? aside for a second and she was her gruff about it you know I pulled her aside and I said listen I just want to give you some information this way you can help you can help your engineers along when I'm not here what you're asking for I think it's reverb it's like the sound of the space right she said yes yes I said that's not delay it appears to be delay to you but it's not delay to us delay is echo to us that's our language delay is echo timing echo repeating that's echo what you want is reverb. So in the future, just say, give me a little bit more reverb. And this way the engineer can now help you help us. So it's a language thing. I probably say the second thing is, is what I said last week. It's being on time. Be on time. Be ready to work. Singers, I would probably say, give us at least 75% of the volume that you're going to sing. I know sometimes it's early in the morning and sometimes you got to open up, but come ready to get, at least give us at least 70%, six, 75% of the volume. Because what happens is when you don't do that, the first song, like we sound checked and you're singing at 40%. We don't know you're singing at 40%. We just know that you're singing and this is the notes and the tones. And then the first song starts and boom, you blow the gasket and we're like, what the heck? And now we're dialing stuff back. and we're... So try to give us a really good sound check at at least 75%. Because the sound check is really small segments of each song. We're not doing full songs. This way we can kind of understand where every song is. So try to give us that. Musicians, keyboard players especially, let us know the sounds you're using in each song. Let's communicate with us what sounds you're using. Because you can be using pads on one song and then organ on the second song and then piano on the third song. And we're trying to see where things are. You know, your, your, your guitar player could be switching to acoustic to electric. But 
because you guys rehearsed so long in the first song. We don't know it's acoustic on the third song. So let's all be on the same page. I probably said that that would be, I don't know what number I'm at now. But <laughs> that would be where I would go. And I would say the last thing is like strive to be understood. Like strive to be, un- to, to, so I'll, say, I'll say that again. Strive to understand. So this way we can all be, we can all be understood. And what I mean by that is just strive to understand that we're here for a purpose. And then say, and then I will say because the purpose is is wider now, meaning that we have more reach. Meaning that right now the screen you're watching me on is the screen that ministry is going forth on every Sunday, all during the week. That wasn't happening at the level that's happening now. So now. Not only does it have to sound great in the house, it feel great in the house, it has to feel great on a tablet, on an iPhone, on a streaming from your TV, on a smart TV. It has to, it has to translate there. So let's strive to understand each other so we can work together to minister for the people that we're, that we're assigned to meet in exchange with Sunday to Sunday. So... I hope you got something out of this. Do me a favor before you log off, click the screen, whatever you want to do. Share this. Subscribe and review. Share, subscribe, and review. That's all I need you to do. And I'm going to do it like I do it every week. I will see you.